Well guys, I double dipped. Last month I did a video on a lifetime battery that they sent me and I really liked it. I wish I could have brought it back to Philadelphia with me, but it's stuck in Illinois with my uh, old cargo bike. However, they sent me another email asking if I wanted to do a collaboration and, and I was like, well, okay. Could you send me some 12 volt, six amp hour batteries? And they sent me four of them. Now, these will probably end up being in the fire alarm systems of these buildings. But I've, I've been finding these to be really useful. I really like these. These are fun little batteries. This one, I put a little five millimeter jack on it and 5.5. .5, and I've been using it to run my little cobbled together PC fan setup. This ran it for like three days and it came half charged. So that's pretty good. So now I can have a portable battery pack for that. Another one I wired some extra wires on and they, they have a little like header pins on the end so I can power my little 200 amp uh, watt hour meter. And I'm hoping I can put four of them together and make like a boost pack for an e-bike. Well, I'm gonna go to Aldi to get some food and some groceries for breakfast. And I figured I brought out my little 15 watt panel and we're gonna let it charge for a little bit and see how charged it can be in like an hour or so. So it was at about 10.4 volts and I believe the BMS shut off because it wouldn't run the fan anymore. Now I had tried to put this in my window in my bathroom. I, I made this like two years ago to fit in the window and extend out of our apartment bathroom. But you know, now that I have all my tools kind of figured out, I wouldn't trust having wood blocks. I just did whatever I could. I think for this, when I actually put it in the window, I might do something with uh, extruded aluminum, like some 8020 or something like that. All right, let's let that sit and allow it to collect some photons. It's actually been a few days and I've had to use this quite a bit. So, uh, no, the day before yesterday, it was actually quite warm, but I had to come and go and come and go and I didn't have, didn't have enough time to actually film a video, but it was so hot anytime I sat down in the, uh, in the living room that I had to just let this go for a little bit to cool me off. Well, this morning we had a similar issue where, well, an issue in the fact that we needed airflow because somebody somewhere was smoking weed and it didn't smoke it outside, didn't smoke it inside, but there was no airflow. So it got into our, our bedroom and it was so accurate. I opened all the windows angrily and no airflow. So I just had to bring that in here. It took like a half hour to blow the air out. Like that plume just must have sat outside and slowly worked its way in or been inside or something like that. But this worked great and it's still going good. I'm gonna move this to the living room and have it blow on me. I'm between videos and so that means I have a few minutes to work on this. I've been filming this video over a longer period of time and when I first had it I didn't have this little BNC to RCA adapter but now I have it and I had just connected up one of the batteries to this just um, with little jumper cables but I figured what I should do now is I should remove this because I will not be using um, I will not be using the nickel cadmium batteries that went in here. Why would I do that when there's perfectly good lithium iron phosphate batteries? And so let's unscrew this and take that off and see if we can connect one of those up. I just remembered a company had offered to send me a whole bunch of 3D printing filament. I never heard back about that. Yeah. They said they, they would send it, but they never actually, I guess they never sent it. And what I might want to do is actually, yeah, I think I'm actually going to want to um, 3D print a little caddy to hold these on here. Wow, these 
are here pretty big still. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I'll just solder it. What's nice is this actually disconnects from this, so I don't have to be tied to that exactly. And And I can easily undo that later on. I can just desolder them. Let's get this thing turned on and connected to a TV. Look at the color on the uh, TV. Now, I don't know if that's really gonna come up or not, but yeah, I, it's all blue on the camera, but let me see if we can change the color temperature. It's not doing too bad. I'm gonna remove my uh, other monitor off of this power supply so it goes back down to only 60 watts. Well, this does not control very well. <laughs> Well, it's not meant to be like sitting there watching your favorite show on it. It's meant to record and then you can erase it later. So that makes sense. So we have no microphone. We have no video viewfinder. So that's what I should fix next. been a, a, a day and unfortunately I left the battery on the fan last night and so it, it killed it at least it, it, it drained it and I'm here the next day I'm gonna run to the creek to grab some little rocks to mix in with some mortar I'm trying to replicate some some mortar mix that was done in the 1920s so I'll be back in a bit, but this should be able to get another charge. I think those two fans are like four and a half watts, maybe five watts. I think at the very least I got like, oh, maybe, maybe like seven hours of power from them. So, no, it had to be more than that. Maybe like 10 hours. Yeah. Maybe even more. We'll have to see how much power does that actually use. I got my pack. The gas can is the only container I could find. And 
didn't want to strap I did not want to strap a five gallon bucket to my back because it would pull me back way too far it's too wide and way too much rock and uh, so yeah I'm gonna get going and when I get back that should be charged I'm returning from the forest with a backpack with the, I mean, it's not full, but it has a lot of, a lot of rocks in it of the particular size I wanted. And now I'm curious if that battery's charging. I think it is. Well, that's kind of funny. I guess I was actually pretty quick getting those rocks because now it should start charging pretty soon. And we're finally done. Oh, I need to clean that up. Um, I've been doing some repointing. We realized that the Limeworks default mortar is too white. So we got two other ones. We got DGM 100 and DGM 250. And so we're trying that. I think the DGM 250 might actually end up being what we want. The 100 it's more of a sandy color. <sighs> I wanted to add these rocks in there so that so that it would have a, a, a consistency similar to what this originally had because they had some kind of coarser grit in there. Isn't that funny? This stays sand colored and this turns gray so strange well this is now pretty much charged you yep. i think i got overspray onto it of something that i was working on but yeah some grime got on it i do a lot outside so that makes sense I'm done. You know what? I'm going to take this mining light. This is a light that good old AVE, Adrena vs. Evil, sent me over a decade ago. I want to get this thing going again. And nah, I shouldn't take that apart. It's probably going to have really big cells in it. And it won't fit in, hmm, nah, nah, it won't fit in here. I'll just, I'll be a good tinkerer and keep these in its box because this is actually really useful. So useful, in fact, that I'm thinking I'm going to triple dip and quadruple dip and ask for more of these because these are, you know, having a little 12 volt battery that you can kind of throw anywhere works really well. I'm happy. As these things get cheaper, It'll be really fun to strip from old equipment and stuff like that. Yeah, so I still have a lot to learn, but we're getting the color dialed in pretty well. It actually does look pretty similar. Well guys, it's been a few days and me and Thais have been busy playing Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. I'm glad I had this charged up because now I decided to finally get around to fixing the Symmetra LX battery packs and uh, oh, the the EEPROMs and what we're doing is we're removing the EEPROM and we're putting in a socket and this is also a good chance for Thais to master her soldering but we needed a light and I had this light that I got to uh, put on my e-bike and boy is that cool so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 3D print something that can like glue to one of these. And I can have a little portable work light. Cause, what do you say, that's pretty bright? Yeah, yeah. By the way, you're doing good. You have a lot of self doubt and like, ah, it's not work, but that's, you're learning fast. So don't, don't be too harsh on yourself. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, Lifetime, for sending me this. Oh right, I forgot, they sent us a shirt too. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. They sent us all sorts of stuff. <laughs> the shirt's a bit big on me. Yeah. I mean, that's a little bit excessive to send us, like, posters and stuff. We don't need that much stuff. But... Yeah. Oh, well. We have magnets, too. Yeah, we have magnets. I mean, I just... Companies keep sending me this stuff because uh, they really want you to show for them. And, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll show a bit if I like the product. I, as I always said, if Hobart wanted to send me a welder, I'd be all game for that. Well, that's pretty much it. Just a bunch of little experiments, and um, I think I might triple dip. You know, this is me double dipping, getting some batteries. I might ask for even more of these because these are pretty useful. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.